This is a live channel's television event. Farmers, well, with other crops. So now let's invite for another testimonial their experience in Kebi State from His Excellency Al Haji Sayyidu Usman Dakin Gari. Your Excellency, the President, the Vice President, the Chairman of the BOT, other distinguished guests here present, Assalamu Alaikum. For the benefit of our guests from outside Nigeria, let me situate Kebi geographically. Kebi is situated at the northwestern part of Nigeria, in between Sokoto State and Niger State. And on the eastern side by Zamfara State. I'm sure if we say Kebi State is what one of the major producers of rice, a lot of people will be surprised. But God has blessed us. We have about five rivers transversing Kevi State, the biggest being River Niger, which has covered around 175 kilometers of Kebi territory. Whereas the river Rima has covered almost about 250 to 300 kilometers. We have River Zamfara, River Ka, and that has given us an advantage of a lot of floodplains. And this is why it is possible to grow rice during the dry season and wet season. Your Excellency, the President, if you could remember, in 2010, we had a flood, and the federal government gave us 175 million naira to support people who have uh, been affected by the flood. In addition to what the federal government gave us, we put in about 3.3 uh, 3 .3 billion naira distributed to all the people affected along the river floodplains in 18 local governments, out of the 21 local governments. And this becomes the seed money for this revolution that we are talking about in Kebi State. Your Excellency, I had people talking about hectares. In Kebi, it is not hectares. It is kilometers. <laughs> Along all these rivers that I have mentioned, we plant rice. In all the 18 local government that I'm talking about, that the rice irrigation is present, only Guandu and other local government produce other things rather than rice. That is where they produce vegetables and onions. Your Excellency, the irrigation that we have been practicing predate 2010, but that is the year that we cultivated more land than any other time. And by last year, 2012, 2013, we have cultivated, I'm sure, I don't know how many hectares, but it's so massive that when the minister went there, he was confused. When he saw rice in Suru, he could not believe it. He could not believe it's in Nigeria. And today, there is no gain saying Kebi is one of the top producer of paddy rice. And by this, 
we have employed a lot of youth. Most of our civil servants who have retired are in farming today. I can talk of uh, Justice Usman Mohammed from the Supreme Court who have retired and joined us in producing rice. The minister has seen him. And the youth who have been going to Lagos and Abuja have remained back home and producing this rice. The minister could also testify that the highest yield of 7.5 and uh, 7.6 tons per hectare was produced in Kebi. Today, the seed that the federal government buys, we also produce, which is more expensive than the, even the paddy rice. By employing so many people, we have also alleviated poverty. If you hear, if we count states, I'm sure KB will come top in terms of poverty alleviation. Almost everybody is rich in KB now. It's true. In KB, we did also something that is akin only to KB. Using our SHOP money that had been given us to us by federal government, we did promise the farmers that we'll give them a minimum guarantee price. And the minister was present when we fulfilled that promise. We bought every bag that was produced in Kebbi State at the rate of 7,000 Naira. And I'm sure this year we will double our production because of that system. Beside this, Lagos State government, we went, Lagos State government came and partnered with us and bought most of the rice also. And if you see any Lagos rice, a core rice is KB rice. <laughs> and package, and package in Lagos. Sir, uh, myself, I have bought, using also the SHOP money, we have bought about 1,000 power tillers. I cannot count how many water pumps we have bought, pumping pump, uh, pumps, uh, that machines that we use in pumping water out of the aquifers. The initial year, we bought about 20,000. Last year, we bought about four, 5,000. This year, we are buying no less than 11,000 machines. All these are distributed to farmers free. <laughs> we are also buying about 380 tractors in collaboration with AFAM, and will guarantee loans given to farmers in terms of tractors. We also buy dry season and wet season fertilizer, even after the federal government has provided the just fertilizer. And this has given us a latitude in rice production. And in totality, if you add all this, this is why KB is one of the most peaceful states. Our farming, agriculture, in relation to employment that we give, has made everybody employed. And we have no security issues. And we are happy that we are living peacefully. Thank you very much. Yes, indeed. We can put our hands together with another applause, a more robust applause, appreciating His Excellency, the Governor of Kepi State, who has educated us all. The Ofada rice in Lagos is Kebi rice. Now we know. Well, we do know that this is an unstoppable train of transformation, and we shall be hearing more of that unstoppable testimony as we listen to His Excellency, Governor of Gombe State, Al Haji Ibrahim Hassan Dan Kwabo.
Your Excellency, Mr. President, Your Excellency, Mr. Vice President, our leader, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellency, dry season farming or dry season agricultural production in Gombe State is carried out in the following areas covering over 65,000 hectares of irrigable land, mainly around three corridors, the Gongola River Basin, which tra traverses about four local governments in Gombe State, and that Inkoa and Balanga dams with combined water storage capacity of 1.77 billion cubic liters. We have also scanty Fadama lands distributed in Gombe State. Our experience of the GS in 2012-2013 are that 16 clusters of 9,666 farmers were created and each of them was supported with three bags of fertilizer. And we have also, in addition to that, procured 20,000 metric tons to further complement the GS. We have also sunk so many pumps, procured 350 tractors, which were meant for uh, uh, land preparation in readiness for fertilizer farming, uh, dry season farming. The effect of all this in 2012-2013 was that we had an increase yield that averaged 132 percent. In the minimum, which was about 40,000 tons in a very small hectare that was measured by the Federal Ministry of Agriculture. 